hi guys welcome back to my channel um i'm here to share with you guys my inventory um binder that i created um i created this the same day that i started um that i bought my first um diamond painting um and i have seen other youtubers that have done it too but um this is how i have mine I created the forms myself. Uh, this is my diamond painting progress sheet. So I will use this sheet with every project that I do, which will have the name of the canvas, then the days that I work, the hours, where I started, where I stopped, the many hours, and the sections completed. And at the end, it will give me a total of days that I took me to complete the project and a total of hours. And this just for my reference. And um, this paper, once I'm done with it, it's going to be filed behind the project sheet that I have for each of the camp kits that i starting to get. So, like, this is the one that I'm working right now, which is the one from Michael, the red pop is from Michael. So, once I finish working on it, it will go right here. And also, it will go with the inventory sheet if it, com if it comes with the kit. Right now, I don't have an inventory sheet for this one because Michael, the one from Michael doesn't bring one. So once it finished, everything is gonna be in one um in one page protector. So that is that. So let me take this one also um for the glare. So what I did was I create I went on on Word. I created some um forms, you know, thought something that I thought would help me um which I need to go tweet it a little more because I want to put um, the name. I didn't put a spot for the name of the of the painting and the color. So I had to add that and the price. So I want to add, I might tweak it a little more. So what I did is I just created a, a, a square right here. So that's where the picture of the canvas that I ordered going to go with the name of it. And then um, once I get it, I will know how many colors it is. So I will put it down. But for now, like, let me get this one. That, let me show you. Because this is the one that I got from Michael. So I got all the information. But the ones that I ordered from AliExpress. And I order, um, I have some coming from eBay. And I have some from Amazon and AliExpress. So. This one is one that I the for one of the one the first ones that I ordered um, from AliExpress. So I went and I printed the picture of it, and then I gave it a name because it just says flamingo. But I gave it Christmas flamingo, and then I put the website is AliExpress, and then the shop number, which is shop two nine eight nine zero zero three. The size of the canvas, if it's a full canvas, if it's a partial canvas, if it's round or if it's square, the day I ordered it, the day I received it, and the price, I thought about that after I print them. So I added the price there. And then over here, I needed, I made another box, and then I put the day that I started the project, the day that I finished it, if the kit was complete, like when I receive it, it, that's what, this is for when I do the inventory. This part is when I do the inventory. So if, um, if it's, if the kit was completed, if there was missing any item, if I contacted the seller, the day that I contacted the seller, if they, um, you know, it was resolved or not, and then I will put any notes I want to do here. And then at the bottom, I have, uh, like a little checklist if I kept the project if I gift it if I gift it to who if I sold it and if I sold it for how much I sold it just to keep reference in case I want it um, you know if I did it and I gave it away or sold it and then I want to do it again for myself um, I'll have a reference sheet so that is how I um, organizing my um, camp my kits because I know this my stash is going to grow pretty quickly because I am the kind of crafter that when I start a craft, I go big on it. So, like I said, I started 
I discovered this two weeks ago and I already have um let's count one two three four five six seven eight that I ordered right away but then yesterday I ordered five more so I got I haven't been able to print it which I'm gonna do that right after i finish um this video so i could you know have them in my inventory and like that when i go shopping again um i know what i have um already um like i'm new this at the beginning i didn't know there was partials and they were full so um so far i think i have this one is partial then i have this one which i love this you know chunky ladies i'm a chunky lady myself so i love this ones and i has already so a lot of them that i want but i haven't um get them yet and um this one is partial also and then we have this one which is one of the ladies too and it's called toilet woman i thought that was cute and funny for my bathroom this one is four so i am thinking that i'm more of a four then a, then a partial this one i'm very um after i find out about full and partial i went back and i'm very disappointed that this one is just partial the romantic paris but i'm gonna see if i could find it in full and um get it uh in full because um i love paris my decoration is paris theme so i see a lot of them that i'll be doing a lot of paris one and then this pirate man is for my daughter so um so that's how i organize them because i want to organize uh, from the oh and then i have here the dmc drill so when i get leftovers and how i am gonna um that's another videos that i'm gonna share with you once i get leftovers because i have no left i just started so i don't know if i will have any leftovers from from the one from michael but the one from michael doesn't have the dmc code so i don't know how i'm gonna um organize those but once i get to that then i will come back with another video so yeah that's just how i'm gonna organize my um my inventory so it will be easy to reference to and like if i want to start a new project i could just look for them and see you know which one i want to do if i want to do a full if i want to do a partial maybe further on i'll divide it but i don't think i'll be getting too many partials because like i say i think i'm more I, I would like more the full effect than partial but uh, you know i might get a few partial just for gifts so it will be quick to do and stuff like that so maybe i will divide this later by partial and full so it will be easy for me to look what i want to do also if i don't want it will let me know how many colors it has so like if i want to work in one but it doesn't have too many colors because i want to do it quick i could you know pick and choose which one i want to work next instead of going through every canvas and unrolling it or flipping through them to find out what i want to work on so um that's how i'm going to organize um my diamond painting kit and um that's what i wanted to share with you guys uh so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed subscribe hit that bell um button so you could get notified when i upload new videos which i'm planning to do um as often as i can i have another youtube channel the, for my other crafting um items that i do so i had to balance this channel and the other channel um you know at the same time so i will try to upload to this one as much as i do to the other one so um thank you for watching and until next time